All righty, ladies and gentlemen, little bit of that wrestling talk right here on the new Wrestling Jesus channel. Subscribe today, folks. Little throwaway video there. Did WWE suck in 2021? Um, I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can here for my analysis of the product, the overall product, 2021. I don't know if I would say that it completely sucked. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't say, certainly wouldn't say that it was good, folks. I mean, you got to keep it real there. Was it decent? Uh, that's a bit of a strong void, folks. Uh, it was decent. Uh, wasn't like that. You know what I mean? It was more of like a negative okay, maybe. Oh, was okay. Even that seems a bit too generous, you know what I mean? It was like a eh, overall kind of deal. What's your overall thoughts on WWE in 2021? Ah, it's kind of like that, folks. Like in the three... 0.25 kind of area there. If you compare it to the past, it's like a 1 out of 10, I mean. Like, it wasn't all bad, you know what I mean? Some of it was good. You had some good stuff with Roman Reigns, some good matches uh, here and there throughout the year. You had Brock Lesnar making a big return, but that was recent stuff, you know what I mean? Um, they got me a little bit hyped for the day one match or whatever, but that's that's in the new year, folks. We're talking 2021 overall there. And um, like Brock coming back with his farmer outfit against... Roman Reigns, New Year's Day, it feels a little must-see. I don't know if it's must-see on the holiday there, folks. I mean, again, you got to keep it real there, but the match, you know what I mean? It feels must-see at least, but the rest of the product there... It doesn't feel must-see, you know? Like, Bobby Lashley on Raw, I enjoyed that. Not as much as Brock and Roman Reigns, you know what I mean? But it was okay. But now he's not even champ, and it's Big E. And it feels dull on Raw, like... 99% of Raw is worthless. You know what I mean? You have Roman Reigns that feels special, Brock, that's on SmackDown, on Raw. It's like a fucking weirdo clown show of some sort, you know what I mean? Not in the same way as AEW there, which is more clownish and circusy. You don't get as much acrobatics on Raw, but... Uh, it's just goofy, throwaway garbage, you know? That's one of the big problems in WWE in 2021, folks. You had some stuff that was good. Some of it sucked. You know, that you can get angry and say, ah, oh, this fucking sucks or whatever. But the majority of, of it... Is just throw away worthless, boring bullshit. You know what I mean? Otis and Chad Gable in the throw away tag team match. The Viking Raiders, Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler, all shit that you don't need to watch. You know what I mean? There's no excitement there. Edge showing up tonight, that gives you a bit, maybe, of excitement. But you don't feel any excitement for 
the Viking Raiders, you know what I mean? There's no excitement there. There's nobody really interesting in the mid-card that's doing anything worth mentioning. Uh, unless y'all are in love with Damien Priest, his weird demon gimmick there. Is that the best WWE has to offer in 2021, you know? They have this new guy with the golden egg there, Austin Theory, um, you know? <sighs> I really don't get the, the, like, what's the difference between Austin Theory and Tyson Kidd, for example? Two guys that look about the same. Same kind of look, same build. Like, I don't get how Austin Theory is going to be a star. There he might be, you know. McMahon, he has that eye for wrestling talent, I guess. A lot of the people he hired the past few years are all getting released there, folks. They're getting picked up by AEW. But, you know, the... the Majority of the show feels like you can skip it. You know, most of it is not only not must see, but like The Undertaker said, it's hard to watch. So if like 90% of the show is worthless, then it's hard, it's hard to watch it. Even watching the clips nowadays is tough. You know, sometimes the pay-per-views are good, but overall, even SmackDown, you have 15 minutes of good stuff. The rest is all skippable, fucking throwaway garbage. So what's the fucking point of even watching? You know what I mean? Especially Raw. Three hours is way too long to have no substance at all. Like, you know what I mean? That's too much there. So you're getting record low viewership. They're not even trying. Did it completely suck? No, but it wasn't good. It wasn't decent. Uh, it's just there. And that sucks. It sucks that Good wrestling doesn't exist anymore, you know. People have to go to a circus to get an alternative in AEW, you know what I mean. Um, it sucks to see what wrestling has become. It used to be cool, funny, stuff like this. Exciting, you can get excited for a match. Lesnar can still bring that excitement, but he's there five minutes a year, so they're hooking us with Lesnar, you know, and then there's the Rumble Mania season there. We're going to keep the channel open for that, boys, but then, you know, and even Mania season these days ain't even that exciting. It's not really exciting. Last year's Mania... Nothing really exciting there, you know. Sadly, there. Um, wrestling is in a rough shape, ladies and gentlemen. We can always watch Ring of Honor. What's that? They're out of business for three months, folks. Can watch Impact Wrestling if you can find it. <laughs> but uh, one thing's for sure about WWE, folks. Two things. Number one, they're making money whether the product sucks or not. They're still making money, so they're doing something right, I guess. They're not entertaining us there, but... Well, sometimes, folks, about 10% of the time. And number two, they're better than AEW, folks. I'm sorry there to the AEW fans. I don't want to upset you guys. I think you're cool. I think you're normal people. I think you're beautiful. 
But it's better than AW because AW for sure sucks, folks. I mean, that's it's it's a for sure guarantee when it comes to WWE, folks. That I'll say it sucked the majority of the time, but sometime it was okay, giving it a <laughs> kind of uh, overall. Uh, did it suck? Yes, folks. To put it simple, it did, folks. All right, it sucked. All right. But it's better than A, though, you goddammit, folks. It pains me to say it there. It is what it is. Until next time, peace. Hey, subscribe today, folks, to the new Wrestling Cheers channel. Until next time, peace.